Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, how many numbers of 5 digits can be formed with the digits 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4? So there are two cases for these kind of questions. One is without repetition of digits and the second is with repetition of digits. So without repetition of digits means, so normally when a question is asked, it means without repetition of digits. If repetition of digits is allowed, it will be specifically given in the question. How many numbers of 5 digits can be formed with the digits 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 if the digits are allowed to repeat? That will be the question. So anyway, here I am going to discuss without repetition and with repetition, how to find out the total number of 5 digits possible. So here you are having 5 digits 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So in normal case if 5 digits are given and you are asked to form 5 digit numbers your answer will be 5 factorial. You can rearrange or you can arrange 5 numbers in 5 factorial ways. So 5 factorial numbers will be possible. But here the problem is a 0 is coming. This 0 cannot come in the 10,000th place. So 5 digits. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If 0 comes in the 10,000th place, it becomes a 4 digit number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 will be read as only 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 has no value in the 10,000th place. So 0 cannot come in the 10,000th place. So there are two ways in understanding this question. So first I will explain the first way. So this 10,000th place means how many ways you can fill the 10,000th place? You cannot use 0. So how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So there are 4 ways in filling the 10,000th place. Now what about the 1,000th place? 1,000th place, how many ways you can fill the 1,000th place? There is no repetition of digits. So there are a total of 5 digits. 1 digit is already used up for the 10,000th place. So how many digits are remaining? 4 digits will be remaining. So in how many ways you can fill the 1000th place? You can fill the 1000th place in 4 ways. Any number can come. So you can fill the 1000th place in 4 ways. Now 100th place. 100th place, how many ways in which you can fill the 100th place? Already 2 digits are used. Out of 5 digits, 2 digits have already been used. 1 digit is used in 10,000th place and 1 digit is used in 1000th place. So remaining 3 digits are there. So 100th place can be filled in any of the 3 ways. So there will be 3 ways in filling up the 100th place. Now how many digits are remaining? Only 2 digits are remaining. Out of this any digit can go to 10th place. So 10th place can be filled in 2 ways. And units place can be filled in only 1 way. Only 1 digit will be remaining. So in 1 way you can fill up the units place. So totally how many numbers will be possible you have to multiply each of this 4 into 4 into 3 into 2 so what you'll be getting 4 into 4 16 and 16 into 6 is equal to 96 so this is one method of doing this question the second one is okay so this 10,000th place can be filled in four ways zero is not possible so you can use any of 1 2 3 and 4 so there will be four ways in filling up the 10,000th place. Now remaining four places we are not having any problem because any number can go to any place. There is no restriction. For the 10,000th place there was a restriction. Zero cannot go there. But for the remaining four places there is no restriction. You can select any number from the remaining four numbers. One digit has already gone to 10,000th place. So remaining four digits can be used in any way. So how many uh, how many digits are there? 4 digits will be there. And how many positions are to be filled? 4 positions are to be filled. So how 4 digits can be arranged in 4 different positions? It can be done in 4 factorial ways or 4 P4 ways. 4 P4 is equal to 4 factorial. Both are same only. So what you will be getting? 4 factorial ways you can arrange the remaining 4 places. The 10,000th place can be arranged in 4 ways. And the remaining 4 places can be arranged in 4 factorial ways. So the answer will be 4 into 4 factorial which again gives you 4 into 4 into 3 into 2 is equal to 96. So whichever concept is comfortable for you, you can use that for solving these kind of questions. If you are very comfortable with the concept of permutation, you can directly use that concept here. So 10,000th place can be filled in 4 ways and remaining 4 places are there, 4 digits are there. 
so you can arrange these four digits in four places in four factorial ways so it will be 4 into 4 factorial numbers will be possible which gives you 96 so second question how many five digit numbers can be formed with the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so whenever 0 comes you have to consider it as a special case so you are asked to form five digit numbers and you are given seven digits total of seven digits are given and you are asked to form five digit numbers so here also 10,000th place you have to consider separately because zero cannot go there so how many ways you can arrange the 10,000th place you can use any one of one two three four five and six so you will be having six ways of arranging the 10,000th place now how many digits will be remaining six digits will be remaining there are a total of seven digits and no digit is re repeating so you can use only any one of the six digits remaining in the four places six six digits are there and four positions are there so how you can arrange six digits in four positions it can be done in six p4 ways n objects can be arranged in r ways or r positions by using ncr formula NPR formula sorry so 6 P4 ways you can arrange 6 digits in 4 positions so what you will be having 6 factorial divided by N, NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial so 6 P4 will be equal to 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial which gives you 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 1 here also 2 factorial will come here also 2 factorial will come so both will be getting cancelled so you'll be getting 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 so total number of numbers possible will be equal to 6 into 6 p4 which will be giving you 6 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 which gives you 2160 so 2160 numbers will be possible in the given question now let's consider a second case repetition of digits is allowed suppose the question was the digits can be repeat can be repeated so what is the solution to such a problem so here also 10,000th digit you have to consider separately because there is a restriction zero cannot go to 10,000th place so six ways you can arrange 10,000th place now remaining four positions are there in th so how many ways you can arrange your thousand place you can arrange in seven ways any number can go zero one two three four five or six repetition of digits is allowed so seven ways you can arrange the thousand place now again hundred place how many ways you can arrange seven ways tenth place how many ways you can arrange again seven ways and the units place how many ways you can arrange again seven ways so what will be your total answer your total answer will be six into seven into seven into seven into seven or it will be equal to six into seven raised to four so when repetition of digits is allowed you will be getting six into seven raised to four you can add you can use any digit in any place since zero is there only in 10,000th place you are having a restriction but after that you can use any of the 7 digits so it will be 6 into 7 raised to 4 so that is the difference when the digits are allowed to repeat and when the digits are not allowed to repeat next question how many even numbers of 3 digits can be formed with the digits 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay so the 0 is also there okay so the question is how many even numbers of 3 digits can be formed with the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so whenever 0 comes you have to consider it as a separate case because 0 cannot come in the 100th place in this case it cannot come in the 100th place 3 digit number is asked so what is the given question how many even numbers will be possible with the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and it should be a 3 digit number so two cases you can take the first case is the units digit is equal to 0 when units digit is equal to 0 how many numbers will be possible remaining two digits are there here no repetition of digits when the question is given simply it means no repetition of digits the default question is no repetition of digits is allowed so how many numbers are there remaining six numbers will be there so six numbers will be there already one number zero is used up in the units digit so remaining six numbers are there and two positions are there so how you can fill six numbers in two positions it can be done in six p2 ways so six p2 numbers will be possible when units digit is equal to zero 
when units digit is equal to zero it is an even number so in first case when units digit is equal to zero there are six p2 ways in which even numbers can be formed or there will be six p2 numbers possible six p2 will be equal to six factorial divided by four factorial which gives you six into 5 or 30 numbers will be possible now second case we can consider second case is the units digit is not zero that means the units digit can be 2 it can be 4 or it can be 6 so there are three options possible 2 4 or 6 so there will be three ways in which the units digit can be filled either by 2 or by 4 or by 6 so there are three ways of filling the units digit in how many ways the 100th place can be filled zero cannot go there so zero cannot go there and one number has already been filled in the units digit so how many numbers are remaining out of seven numbers two numbers have gone so five numbers will be remaining so five ways you can rearrange the 100th place now what about 10th place 10th place how many ways you can arrange already two numbers have been used up one number in 100th place and the other number in units place so there will be five numbers remaining so five ways you can arrange the tens place so totally how many numbers will be possible 5 into 5 into 3 which gives you 75 so either of these two will be possible either this first option will be there an even number ending with 0 or an even number ending with 2 4 or 6 so here or is coming this is one option possible and this is the second option possible either one of these only will be possible an even number means either it will be ending in 0 or it will be ending in 2 4 or 6 so you have to add these both 30 plus 75 will be giving you the total numbers possible 75 plus 30 is equal to 105 so there will be 105 even numbers of three digits that can be formed with the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the last question how many four digit numbers that are divisible by 10 can be formed from the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 0 such that no number repeats so there are four digit numbers and how many digits are given six digits are given 1 2 3 4 5 and 0 and you are asked to find out how many four digit numbers that are divisible by 10 can be formed so divisible by 10 means there is only one option zero should come in the units place only when zero comes in the units place that particular number becomes divisible by 10 so zero comes in units place there is only one way of arranging the units place zero should come now how many positions are remaining three positions are remaining and how many digits are there there are five digits remaining zero cannot be used there is no repetition of digits so zero cannot be used in the remaining three positions so five digits are there and three positions are there how you can arrange five digits in three positions it can be done in 5p3 ways so 5p3 means it will be equal to 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial which will be giving you 5 into 4 into 3 5 into 4 into 3 is equal to 60 so 60 numbers will be possible thank you for watching